Hey, this is Casey. I just got back from the Nebraska game, and it was 47-24. to Nebraska beat Western Michigan pretty handily, and that's great. Great start for the season, but what I'm about to show you is the Michigan-Utah highlights for Saturday's game because I love seeing Michigan lose. I think everyone in college football loves seeing Michigan lose. So without further ado, here are the highlights. The upset that defined the season a year ago. Much has changed for Michigan. Rich Rodriguez now the head coach. They have Utah coming in. Nick Sheridan got the start. The former walk-on. His dad's a coach. Coach in the pros for a while. And, uh, and threw it right into some coverage. Sean Smith with the pick. Sheridan would be replaced in the second half. Now, Brian Johnson threw for over 250 yards in the first half. Made 85. Braden got it. Nice protection by the offensive line where he can step up in the pocket and make the throw. Utah at, Utah at its finest. You gotta be sound in the kicking game. Oh, this is Lou's guy. Lou's the corner. They got a hand on it, Lou. Well, it's not his fault. He can't protect. He can only kick it. That's Jerry. Kick it quicker. Four yards a punt. Now into the end of quarterback. Steven, three up top. Junior Hemingway. Great throw, great catch. Put it the only place the guy could catch the ball. And on the very next drive, Utah facing a third and long. Johnson's a veteran quarterback. You gotta secure the football. He did not, and the Wolverines are alive and breathing. Second and goal now for Michigan. Three to Sam McGuffey, the YouTube sensation. He didn't leap over anybody, but he went in, and the Wolverines within two. Needed a two-point conversion to tie it. Three, Tony Clemens. A tad too tall. Michigan would have another opportunity. Fourth and five, pinned deep in its own end, and three has Daryl Stoneham. Open past the line they draw up there, so he'll know it's a first down, but he fires a little too high, and Utah beats Rodriguez in his opener by... And now for Rich Rodriguez's words of encouragement. Two. We got to execute better. And uh, they, I thought they controlled the game in the first half with their passing game. Had our defense on his heels a little bit. Our offense never really got in any rhythm, which was uh, disappointing, and uh, sometimes our inexperience showed, but... You know, I am, uh, you know, not all is lost. You know, there's enough positive things I think we can build on. But not much pop. What is there to build on? You're starting a walk-on quarterback in the spread offense. Until next time, keep it real, guys.